Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just in this plant room, checking a few things out on a service, tracing the pipe work, the constant temperatures and the variable temperature circuits. It's often that the labeling on pipe work is not correct. So don't um, see it as gospel. If you see the arrows pointing a certain direction, don't take it for granted that it means that is the flow. Sometimes the people that do the lagging don't know what is what. So I'm checking my temperatures on my boilers before I switch them off for servicing. This is my low loss header. So we got about 65 to 60 Celsius on our flow and return. So our gas supply and we've got our gas solenoid around there and then they have a little switch at all so that reset on the side of the gas solenoid and this is the gb the worcester gb162 this is the v1 version where the door opens like a fridge on this particular model You've got the hot service igniter here on the left. One of them weren't lighting, so check the resistance on the hot service igniter and it was open line. This is the flame detection on one of the pilot assemblies taken out. And this is the hot service igniter. This is the 40 hot service igniter, which had um, an open line when a resistance check was carried out. And I use I tech checked from the other end because I couldn't get the probes in one of the sides. My multimeter probes. So this is the control. So if you turn it up, your servicing is likely to last longer without the boilers locking out. So I had my other boilers set to 60 Celsius. But the one I was working on now, I set to 90 Celsius for testing purposes. You hold down the chimney sweep button for about five seconds until the dot appears. One dot appears on the right, as you can see here. Then you hold down chimney sweep and the service button together until you get L. And then you hit the reset button. So now you should get a um, high fire. But as you hit the reset button, it will go down so you can see 99% load and then it will reduce the fan speed as you hold the reset button but if you just hold it down it will go down faster rather than pressing the button like this hold the button down and it will eventually speed up and go down to 20 percent depending on the model but 20 percent is the lowest on this particular model it's a 100 kilowatt unit it's the fridge type so this brings it back up so on this particular model, what I'm doing is it's uh, it was making a racket and I want you to tell me what you think it is. I have an idea of one or two things that, that it could be, but I'm not 100% sure at the moment. So I'm going to put this boiler in service mode. Now tell me what you think this noise is. Any ideas? So you can see the fan there rattling away. I've had a few opinions on it. All right, I think it could be the fan or possibly the gas valve. So let me know what you think and put it in the comments below. So I'm continuing my servicing. I've got all my other boilers, I've got about five boilers operating, so out of eight, and I have the others at 60 Celsius. So I've got my dot there after holding down my chimney sweep button, and then I hold down my, my spanner and my chimney sweep together until I get L and two lines, and then I hit the reset button. So I'm about at 99%. The manufacturers stipulate that the zero governor pressure 
Well, first of all, you've got to zero your pressure gauge. So zero your gauge, your manometer gauge. So we're zeroing it. And then attach it to your zero governor. And then set your minimum. Set your minimum rate at minus 0 0.05. Okay, it's the first time I've heard this recommendation before. I'm going to look in the manual, but I was instructed by the manufacturer to set my minimum rate at minus 0 0.05 on low file. I wasn't told to adjust anything at high rate, and I was also recommended that the CO2 should be approximately. 9.4% but that the main thing was to ensure that my PPMs were low so this is what I found the minimum at 9.4% on CO2 before making any adjustments my CO is zero My ratio is very low. Okay, now my pressure, as you can see, PRS there is now minus 0 0.06. So the manufacturer recommended that I have it at minus 0 0.05. So here is the adjustment point. I got it to minus 0 0.05 as recommended. I'm going to check my manual later for that same recommendation as it's the first time I've heard All right so I logged that reading okay so I'm double checking constantly what my temperatures are because these five boilers are serving a block of flats and also a few other buildings nearby so I don't want the temperatures to drop too low because it will obviously affect the services there's no yeah, it's not necessary so I'm putting this boiler now into high fire and I want to see what my readings are in high fire because obviously I've made adjustment to the gas valve and I want to make sure that in high and low we have good readings so my CO2 I'm happy with my parts per million are under 100 my CO parts per million are under 100 so I'm happy oxygen level looks good love that reading do you remember on these to clean the condensate trap out and fill them with water afterwards? Remember to check your working pressure. And all five boilers were operational. We've got 22 millibar working pressure. Now it says open the screw plug on the test nipple for the burner pressure by two turns. Set the pressure gauge to zero, so zero your gauge. Use a connection tube to connect the positive port of the pressure gauge to the test nipple for burner pressure. Now it says set the capacity to minimum, that is part load, according to the service mode. After the burner has lit up, wait for one minute until the boiler is burning at part load. Read the differential pressure during service mode. The differential pressure must be minus 5 PA. Indication on pressure gauge, minus 10 to naught PA. So you can see it here. So can you see it's showing you here what I was discussing earlier the gas slash air difference at low so we got minus 0 0.05 here you have it this is what was being carried out earlier I had my gauge on 
and I made adjustments here. Okay, now for CO2 and so on, um, for my combustion readings, it says here, my PPM should be under 400 parts per million. It also shows you in the manufacturer's instructions how to carry out a check on the ionization current. Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope that was helpful to you. Please leave comments in the section below. Until next time, thanks again for all your support, um, wherever you are in the world and so on watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, bye-bye-bye.